everybody how are you thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my videos and i'm super excited because tomorrow is halloween it's one of my favorite time of year so yeah i could not finish the month without posting a halloween video so for starters i'm just going to start with my eyebrows like i always do and i am gonna make them kind of thick that i normally like to do my eyebrows um because i really want them to look nice beautiful and sharp and the product I'm using is from Forever Magic Cosmetics. It is their double shade gel brow, I believe it's called. Um, and I'm using it in Abracadabra Black. So I normally use the dark one kind of to shape the eyebrows out. And then I kind of feather everything in. And then I like to go in with the lighter shade to do the inner corners just so it's not so harsh and then with my spoolie I like to soften it out and yeah that's basically what I always do with my eyebrows but if you guys do want a very thorough detailed video on how I do my brows comment below and I can do that for you so yeah at this point keep in mind I still kind of didn't know what I wanted to do but I did want something beautiful and glam but also bloody and a bit gory so that's how I came up with my innocent killer look <laughs> Okay guys, so now that the brows are finished and I have primed the eyes, we can begin. Today I'm going to be using the Desi and Katie Frankation palette, which as you already know if you watched my last video, it has been my favorite, favorite palette that I use every day. So the shade I'm going to be using is Basic and that's going to be my transition shade and I'm going to be using a Morphe R38 brush and I'll just be applying this color all over my eyelids. Now for my next shade, I'm going to be using Churro and that's going to go all along the crease line, bringing it a bit lower on my eyelids. I don't want to go up too high above my crease because I do want to allow that transition shade to still peek through. So just keep that in mind. And I'll be doing this just quite a few times because I really want to warm up that color. Now using a smaller crease brush, this one's from e.l.f. I'll be using the shade Cheens. <laughs> I love that name. And focusing it just slightly above the crease and kind of using like windshield wiper motions and bringing it to the outer corner of the eye, kind of creating a V. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go ahead and smoke that out anyways with the clean fluffy shader brush. Just kind of stay a little more precise on the crease though. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut the crease. As always, I'm using the Tarte Shake Tape Concealer and I'm going to go ahead and cut that whole crease, meaning the entire eyelid space, if that makes any sense. And I'll also be grabbing a smaller detailed brush just to add a little more definition to that cut crease using the exact same shade. Now using the shade Game Over, <laughs> I'll be applying that on the entire lid. I want to stay very precise, I do not want to mess up that cut crease because it did take some time. So I'll be using a flat shader brush from MAC and then I do want to intensify this color so I'll just finish it off with using my finger just to help that color really pop. Okay, so now to really glam this look, I'm going to be applying some shimmer and I'm going to be using this bluish like iridescent glitter that I got from Michaels and I'm going to be using the NYX glitter primer as well to apply it and originally I was only going to apply this on the center of the eyelid but I loved it so much that I just went kind of crazy and applied it all over the lid. <laughs> so just go ahead and do what you would like. And with the snap, lashes are on. <laughs> now going back to the palette, I'll be using the shade Necessary and I'm going to apply that on the outer corners of the eye and just going to be sweeping that back and forth and I feel like this is just going to elongate the eye a lot more and it's also going to add more warmth to that area. 
Okay, now using churro under the lash line and followed by jeans just to smoke both shades out together. Okay, and last I'm using the shade Game Over and I'm bringing that down further from the lash line and smoking it out. And then I'm going to be using this NYX Jumbo Pencil in black inside the waterline and I'm also going to smoke that out as well. Okay, so the fun begins <laughs> for this look. So for my face, I'm going to be using this foundation. I actually got it at the dollar store because I saw that it was really light and I need the foundation to make me look really pale because I kind of want to look somewhat dead at the same time. So I'm just going to be applying this all over my face and neck with the damp beauty blender. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply concealer like I normally would. And for my powder, I'm just gonna add the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just gonna go ahead and set that all over my face and neck. Using this cream contour palette from ABH, I created a vertical line starting from my ear almost down to my chin. Then I'm going to be using a fluffy contour brush from Real Techniques and also switching off with a smaller fluffy brush. And I'm just going to begin to smoke that out little by little. And I'm also going to add a contour all around my hairline. <laughs> To highlight, I'll be adding fuego to the higher parts of my cheekbones and the sides of my forehead. Yes, I know, I should look dead, but honestly, <laughs> what's a glam look without some highlight, right? <laughs> Okay, so using that same ABH palette, I'm going to contour my nose and I'm going to apply some translucent powder to define the contour as well. And last, I'm just going to apply some fuego to highlight the nose. Also, I'm applying fuego to the inner tear ducts of my eyes and mascara to my bottom lashes. Okay, moving along, using this small contour brush and the 35B palette from Morphe, I'm using the black shade of the palette and applying it underneath the eyes. I'm going to be making the eyes look a bit hollow. I want to make the eyes look very tired and kind of give it an eerie look, so I'm also going to be using the shade Necessary and just smoking both shades out. Then going back to the Morphe palette, using that black shade again, I'll be applying it all along the hairline, the contours on my cheek, jawline, and ears. Then using the Wet n Wild Black Paint Pot, I'll be applying this in the same areas that I applied that black shadow and on my neck and collarbone. I didn't really stress too much for it to be perfect because I will be going back to it later, but I did want to start giving my neck and especially the collarbone a bit like a shadowy defined effect. Okay, so I'm just concealing my lips, but this is a step that you can actually just skip. So I'm going to be using this liquid latex that I got from the Halloween store and a disposable beauty sponge. And I'll be applying that on each side of my face and adding cotton to it. And I'll keep repeating this step a few times until I feel like I have the desired amount. Then using some clear push pens, I will be gluing them with the latex as well and adding more cotton to make sure that it is secure. Again, I'll just keep repeating the steps until I'm happy on how it looks. And I just use three push pens on each side, but you can go ahead and use as many as you want. And a little tip, I found the easier to apply the latex with a pencil brush than I did with the beauty sponge. Just just letting you know.
Okay, and now using any light concealer that you have, I grabbed the lightest one from my makeup collection, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start covering that whole area as much as I can, just so it blends it nicely with my skin. Okay, so going back to that ABH contour palette, I'm mixing the first two shades together from the palette and I'm going to be going over the area that I had just concealed, but I'm not going to cover it completely. I'm trying to give it more of the effect of the skin being lifted and wounded. From that same cream contour palette, I'm now using any of the darker shades. It really doesn't matter as long as it's a dark brown and I'm just repeating the exact same steps but this time going a little more with tapping faster motions now I'm grabbing this yellow shade from the morphe palette you really can just grab whatever yellow shade you may have and I'm just gonna be using that and tapping it right in the center I'm also gonna be using a bright red shade again use any bright red shade you may have and just placing it where I think it looks good I'm doing it kind of in the outer corners and around the push pins to make it look kind of like bruised and blood but do whatever you feel it looks right you just kind of gotta eye it and see what works and yeah yeah, the skin is looking nasty and that's exactly what we want okay and now just adding a few more shades I'm using the dark brown the shade jeans from the Frankation palette just because I had it at hand and again just placing it where I think the shade might be needed and then I'm just using a fluffy brush because I just kind of wanted to go in and blend out some of the colors and last I'm just adding some of that black paint pot because I do want to give it an even more rotten effect Okay, and now I'm just adding my favorite new lip liner, and this one is from NYX. And then adding some liquid lipstick, and I'm using the one from the Frankation palette, and this one is called My Main. And because I wanted her lips to be a lot more nude, I went ahead and added a lip stain, and this one is from the Sephora collection. Now going back to that black paint pot and a small contour brush, I'm going to add shadows in the deeper areas of my neck, collarbone, shoulder, and chest, just kind of following the natural contours in that area. And also using that same color, I'm just gonna go over any other areas on my face that I feel that it's still needed. Okay, so let's get gory now. <laughs> so I bought this gel blood from the Halloween store and I'm using a Q-tip and I started adding the blood all over that area. And you can just go ahead and add as much as you like, but I did notice that when I started using a pencil brush, it really did intensify the effect because it added like chunky drops of blood and I really, really liked that. And then I just went ahead and added some blood coming out of my nose and my forehead because this girl came back from the dead and went on a nasty killing spree. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and use Fuego and I'm just gonna highlight my collarbone, shoulders, neck, and Cupid's bow because we still gotta keep this girl glam. And now for the final touch, let's add more blood. <laughs> so I placed some of that blood inside a little spray bottle and I just used it to spray it all over my chest. No specific way, I kind of just eyed it. Just kind of wanted to spray it all over the place, making it look like she was in some sort of murder scene. <laughs> So guys, there you have it, my innocent, back from the dead, killer. <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video. I'm actually really proud of this video. I had so much fun doing it. So thank you for hanging out and I will see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me some comments below, show some love and I will see you guys on my next video. Have a safe and awesome Halloween guys. Bye.